Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In the previous few lessons, we talked about some potential problems that could make a database become very uh, inefficient and store redundant information and things like that. And from this lesson, we're actually going to talk about how to design a database that doesn't have any of those problems. And basically, we're going to follow a few steps from the object role modeling uh, method for designing a database. So what is object role modeling? It is basically a way of looking at the world in terms of objects and roles. So if you think about it, what, uh, what am I doing right now? I'm a person, so I'm an object. And what role am I playing? I'm teaching you guys. And you are a person who is watching the video, and that's the role you're playing. So the whole world is basically objects and roles. Scary, isn't it? So using this method, we're basically going to uh, analyze our universe of discourse. The universe of discourse is basically the part of the real world that we're going to include in our database. So for example, if you're making a database about dogs, um, then cats would be outside the universe of discourse. So the first step in object role modeling is to investigate our universe of discourse. Now, how do we investigate it? Right? Basically, what you do is you're going to transform the information that you can see into a set of elementary sentences. So let's have a look at the flat file database that I um, initially created and see if we could uh, write out a few sentences from this flat file database. Okay, so here is my first elementary sentence. Student with an ID of one was born on the birth date, date, uh, 5th of November 2001. Now you might say, well, why didn't I read this part? This part is for reading backwards. Okay, so if you want to read backwards, uh, birth date with the date uh, 5th of November 2001 is the birthday of student with an ID of 1, if you want to read it backwards. Okay, so using this format, I want you guys to think of another elementary sentence you can write from this um, first uh, database that I talked about. Okay, using some of the other uh, fields. So for example, I've got student, I've got uh, ID, I got their first name, last name, gender, birthday, grade, email, address, phone number, father's name, blah, blah, blah. So much more stuff you can write. So come up with something. Okay, so I'm going to write two more just to just uh, so that you guys get into the uh, pattern. Okay, so here's another one. Student with an ID of one lives at the house with the address 5 Moon Street. Or if you want to read it backwards, house with the address 5 Moon Street is the home of student with an ID of one. So let's now pick this sentence apart and talk about the parts that make up an elementary sentence. So to start off, we um, talk about the entities in the sentence. So the student and the house, these are both entities. So what are entities? 
You can think of entities as basically an object or a unit of things, such as, for example, uh, houses or computer hardware, right? Basically, these are all uh, things that are represented in your database. So a student uh, is an entity, a house is an entity, and so on. Okay, now the second thing that you will see in an elementary sentence, I'll use a different color. What's colored in pink, we will call them reference mode. Reference mode. And that is basically how the label, which is the next thing, uh, let me use a different color again. That's basically how the labels refer to the entity. So these are labels. Use to identify entities. All right, otherwise, we've got no way of uh, identifying the different entities. Right? There are so many students. How do I, How do we identify each one using the labels? Uh, what sort of label is it? It's the reference mode. It's the ID of each student. Right, because there could be other things that you can use to identify the student. So what is number one for? Well, that is the reference mode ID. It's the ID of the student. Okay, so the reference mode is how the label collects to the entity. So going back to our first sentence, well, the student and the birth date are entities. Uh, the Reference modes are ID and dates, and um, the the labels are one and fifth of November two thousand and one. Okay, well, what else do we need to talk about here? Are uh, the roles? These are the roles. I hope it's not getting too complicated. Roles which is specifying the relationship between entities. Okay, so actually I'm going to give you another example so that you guys can practice writing another elementary sentence now that you have all this extra information. So I'm going to give you student name, student name and let's say I have Annie studies the subject let's call it maths okay let's see if you can write the uh, elementary sentence for that and come back when you're done okay so I have student which is the entity with the name Annie uh, studies. Um, now you want the reverse role, which is how the maths actually, I'm just going to leave that there. Studies maths, uh, sorry, subject with the name maths. So subject maths is studied by student with the name Annie. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial guys. Hopefully you learned something. See you next time.